let's look at the terms of an arithmetic series and see if we can come up with the standard rule which helps us find any term. Let's say we have a series where the first term is a. And to get the next term, I need to add a constant amount. So um, we would add, let's call it d, because we were talking about difference between the terms. And the term after that would be the second term, which is a plus d, plus another d. And the term after that would be this third term, a plus d. Well, let's simplify that. So that would be a plus 2d plus another d and so on. Now I'm going to rewrite this just so it's a little bit easier to see the pattern. My first term was a, my second term was a plus d, my third term was a plus 2d, that's right, my fourth term a plus 3d, hopefully you can see the fifth term would be a plus 4d and so on. So as a general rule the nth term would be a plus, let's just make sure we see the pattern, second term 1d, third term 2d's, fourth term 3d's and really it makes sense because we're starting from here we add a d, we add a second d, we add all the way to there, third d, and so on. So the nth term is going to be a plus n minus 1, because it's always 1 less than the term number, d. So for any series, I can find the nth term using this equation. Now this is given to you on your reference sheet so you don't need to memorize it you just need to know how to use it. So let's look at an example. Let's say we have a series 7 plus 13 plus to be 19 plus so on. I want to first show that this is arithmetic. And then we want to find the 30th term. Okay, so to show that it's an arithmetic series, I need to show that there is a common difference. How do we show that there is a common difference? Well, if I take term 2 minus term 1, that would be 13 minus 7, 6, term 3 minus term 2, that's 19, take away 13, 6. Since these two are the same, then it must be arithmetic. Now you might be wondering, is that really enough? All I have is um, two uh, differences. How do I know what's going to happen? Well, for the purpose of this course, that is enough. All we need to do is establish a pattern using three terms, three consecutive terms. If we were going to look at this course at a much deeper level, then we might need to do more, but for the purposes of the two-unit mathematics course, this is enough to establish that it's an arithmetic series. So that covers showing that this is arithmetic. Now I need to find the 30th term. To find the 30th term, I write my rule for the nth term, a plus n minus 1d, 
a in this case was 7 n is the number of terms I'm after and it was term number 30 and d is the common difference which I just found to be 6 so term number 30 is 7 plus 29 times 6 which is 181